Hello students, this is the last section of chapter 14, uh, Factor Markets. Uh, we look at monopsony power. With monopsony power, the marginal expenditure of the buyer, yeah, this is a firm buying, let's say, labor. So, the marginal expenditure is greater than the average expenditure. Reason because... If you want to buy an additional unit, you'll have to spend more. Alright? So, the average expenditure is just the average for all uh, outputs, that, uh, sorry, all the inputs that you purchase. But marginal expenditure will increase at every additional input purchase because price will be higher. Okay? There's a single, uh, single uh, there's a market power there. So, marginal expenditure is greater than average expenditure. But the average expenditure is your supply curve, of course. Yeah? And uh, demand is the same. MRPL or what we call in um, is the marginal value that's created from the labor purchased or the inputs purchased. Now, where is the equilibrium? The equilibrium is at MR and M E. Okay, so you always look for the M R. Sorry, M R P, which is the value created from the additional labor, must equal to the expenditure on that additional labor. So you have M R P equals to M E, and this is the amount of labor that will be employed. And the price that you pay is going to be equal to that supply curve, yeah? The supply, the price that labor is willing to pay for that, uh, is willing to be paid at that quantity. So, your equilibrium which is W, w star. If you don't have this monopsony power in in the story, if it is just a PC, then your uh, equilibrium is just supply and demand, SL and D, then it's C. That's why it will give you WC here yeah, and the quantity here. Okay, because of the mon market power in the buyer's hand. So you have this... Um, um, marginal expenditure greater than ME curve okay so the rule is the same look for the MRP equals to the ME to represent the cost Uh, a buyer with monopsony power maximizes net benefit from a purchase by buying up to the point where marginal value is equal to marginal expenditure. And since marginal expenditure and from a, bu from a firm buying a factor input, MV is the marginal revenue product of the factor, okay, the value that you create. So therefore, MV is the MRP because... Uh, uh, because of the fact that MRP is demand, yeah? the value that you see your company will be making by adding that labor. So please read up bargaining power, read up on the examples. Uh, the last section is 14.4. So just now was the second last section. Okay, here we're going to look at factor markets with monopoly power. Uh, monopoly power means you have single seller. Okay, single seller of inputs. Uh, for instance, all labor becomes uh, all lab, all labor is required to register under a labor union, for instance, or a labor association, and they will bargain their prices or their wages collectively together. Okay, so there is a single seller of labor services services so we call this a monopoly power on the seller side okay so the monopoly power here means you have this mr sorry p is greater than 
MR because this represents market power for the seller just like in output market so you have this um, these two separated demand and MR and if this is your SL yeah so you will find SL being the aggregate uh, expenditures now so SL and demand the seller can maximize the number of workers hire by agreeing that workers will work, work at which W star the equilibrium condition is MR equals to ME Okay, so where are you? You are at uh, MR S equals to demand because demand is MRP you sell at If the union wishes to maximize, then it will be here. Yeah, for the union, for the monopoly uh, input firm or the union, then you maximize at L1 and charge a price at W1. But if you want to maximize workers, then you don't charge at this price. Instead, you charge at A sorry at w star this one will maximize the number of labor this one is the usual maximize profit understand the difference so as a labor union if you want to maximize the number of labor employed you just use the simple rule of supply equals to demand yeah it's as if you are working on a pc uh, principle perfect competition principle but if you want to maximize profit, since you are the single seller for labor, then you should use the MR equals to MC rule, which is here. MR equals to SL, which is your MV, ME, sorry. Okay. And you charge a price according to your demand curve. You charge at W1. Okay, so these are the two considerations. Uh, which one you go? You use ME or you use uh, SDSR? Because you can maximize profit with the monopoly power that you have. Okay, so I hope that will interest you to keep on reading about union and non-unionized uh, labor market. And also the other examples. That will be the end of chapter 14. See you again in chapter 15. Thank you.